There is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim, sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. How did you know shooting the bell would distract him? Over the years, I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was very hungry. I, too, would be violently angry if I could only eat when my neglectful owner rang the bell. I know it was a sneaky trick, but I certainly wasn't going to set a dragon loose on the town or participate in any more abuse. You really thought that through, Grandpa. I would have tricked him, too. Back home, they call me Gwendolyn the Smarty Pants. You come from a long line of logically minded nobles and one very clever dentist. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. I was at a dentist Gwendolyn, last week. It was it's pretty horrible. It's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been. Though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Oh, hey, it's like the tapestry is the cover art for the old games from like back in the day. Pretty cool nod there. Ooh. Why is he standing like that? That's not good for his back. Well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories. Especially the ones with dragons. Oh, yes. The legendary beast he outsmarted with its own dinner bell. I don't know if he forgets that I've heard that story before or if he just doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The He's courtyard get will be beat filled up. with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. I hope I get to beat him up. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now let's talk about far more important issues. Like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Gart you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, 
I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Uh... An act of kindness, even in victory. Treating my opponents with respect. You'll be surprised what opens up to you. A lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. Is that a giant guinea pig? Ah, oh, he missed the hat. After gracefully repelling down the cliff, I welcomed the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. You can't leave Triumph. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. I like Triumph. Seems like a swell guy. That seems important. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? I blew the horn of Gondor. That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. I didn't blow the horn of Gondor. I think the horn went this way. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. Oh, 
inside the tree. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. Ah, oh, get going. Shame. The only two left seem to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. That's exactly what I was going to do. Okay. That wheel seemed freshly broken. Stand back, you dirty thieves! Wah! Oh, uh -huh. it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy That's in a racist. dangerous place like no! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. <laughs> Tell me, is it more of a ow oh, or a oh, oh? Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Huh, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits! <clears throat> well, now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material! Hey! Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait! You're stuck here with me. Every bridge is out, and my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaps straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no. Uh, nope. Oh, can I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns! You can see the string holding the horns on their head. Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? With the handy dandy hatchet. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. That bush just moved. Here, kitty, kitty. Not a kitty, not a kitty! Okay, it's not a kitty. I'm guessing that's not either. An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to a water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade.
then you chopped down that door, found a wheel, and headed for the tournament. No, Gwendolyn. Just because I had a hatchet didn't mean I went around using it on everything. It's not that type of story. Okay. The town square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? A bakery. And it smelled delicious. Ah, uh -huh. I didn't see any reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel. I am the smartest man on the planet. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. I did steal his bread, so I should probably leave him a tip. I decided to leave some coins for the bread. Oh, there's like a potion. Let's get potions. I stumbled upon some kind of curiosity shop. I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. Oh, maybe there's like a wheel in every single one of the houses. Squeeze by you gents. No, we are here to guard the town entrance and keep out any riffraff whilst everyone is watching the parade. If we were to leave, rapscallions would run amok in the empty shops. Back away, boy. We're on the lookout for intruders. So these guys are dumb. Okay, well, let's go do the wheel thing. Wait, actually, that was a blacksmith, and there might be a sword there, which I can use to chop things. So let's go steal from him. Look like a blacksmith shop of swords. I borrowed enough for the day. And then you scooped up all the weapons, right? Right? No, Gwendolyn, I didn't. I was looking for a wheel. Not a fight. Uh. Oh, okay, it's right here. That worked out better than Do I thought I it was going really to. Really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. I thought this might do the trick. Mm, lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarble Snoops, this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully it didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharged. I've got just a fix for that, too. But we have important tournament business to tend to, and I think this'll do the trick. 
Ooh, I'll just need to start locking my unicorns up at night. Mr. Fancy Cakes has a nibbling problem. All right, off we go. Oh, God damn wait, it, before Mr. my Fancy mind slips, Cakes. I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's vamanoose from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. 